And so once again, <laughs> we start the Bucket List of Gaming inaugural episode of Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. What's going on party people? Phantom here. I'm not racist in the background. Probably joining in from time to time. But today we are going to play through Castle of Illusion for the Sega Genesis. And while we read through some of the story here, the point of the bucket list is to go through and beat games that I have never played before. Well, I take that back. Games that I've played before but just have never beaten and I want to beat them before I kick the bucket. This game, however, is becoming a huge, huge thorn in my side so I cannot wait to get done with it. Reason being is the last couple of times I've tried to record, I've gotten fairly far into the game and either I would die and I was just having problems or more specifically in the case of last night when I was recording, uh, the game wouldn't record correctly and it was about seven seconds behind and it would become really choppy after uh, I would end up finishing and when I was checking it over and like listening to the audio quirks and things like that, I... Uh, it, I couldn't put it on. It was just that bad. Anyways. We are going to go through and we're going to dominate. And I'm not even like wasting any time. I just, I'm just hauling balls through this stage. Because I've played it so many times. I am very familiar with the setup of it. And of course I take hits right now. It's alright though. So... On my current list is all the Mickey Mouse games for the Sega Genesis, including World of Illusion and The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse, which I'm not going to play all three of these back to back. I do want to space them out because it's going to be too much Mickey Mouse for me, but uh, we'll get to all of them eventually. And I got Shadow Run and other things on the... Oh, 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 well, alright, I'll take taking damage over and getting an extra life but come on Mickey run 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 jump all right anyways I should be able to blow through this first stage relatively quickly since I've been playing it consistently for the past few days but uh and I have mentioned this before in all the other videos so it goes to say I'll mention it again this is a similar type of level that's in World of Illusion which is kind of neat that they have paired some of the older stuff like this with the newer World of Illusion. But how about you out there? What are some of the games on your bucket list? Are they uh, RPGs? Are they platformers like this? Like what, what do you guys got out there? Leave me some comments and we'll bring it on home and see what your bucket list is like. Uh, for games like, say, Shadowrun, which is a game I have yet to beat uh, for the Super Nintendo, I'm probably going to end up making it to where I, you don't see a lot of the grinding section. So you don't have to uh, end up watching the really boring parts of it. Because, I mean, that's just not any fun. Seeing me go and then, like, taking out, you know, small groups of orcs or, you know, what have you while I'm trying to work my way through a level... Not exactly the most interesting time, but come on, Mickey, let's go. But, well, you know, I've got a plan to be able to work its way. Oh, oh come on. And more items. I'm full on power. I don't need it. All right. So this should be the boss. Yep. Fought him so many times know the pattern down quite well and then we hit him with that ass and we continue on uh, one of the games that I'm probably not gonna uh, beat but I am gonna play just to show on the bucket list is a uh, Robocop vs Terminator because that game gets ridiculous and to beat it without cheating which is one of the other things I want to mention is I'm gonna try to do this without cheating so no to save states or things like that just just a general playthrough 
So I want to I want to try to beat it fair and square to a degree. So if I end up dying and I run out of continues, I will end up playing all the way back up through that part, but you won't end up having to see that like that excess. But I, I really don't want to use invincibility cheats or things like that. And for RoboCop versus Terminator, holy crap. If you're not using invincibility cheats in that game, as soon as you get to the, some of the Terminator levels, it is out of control. But I played it again for the first time in years the other day, and I forgot how ridiculous the music was. And it's got like this techno uh, dubstep beat for the time, and it's, it's pretty hilarious. So I'll probably end up throwing up a video of just <laughs> of how ridiculous it is uh, in the upcoming uh, weeks here just just because it was it was one of my favorite games and it was also one of the um, the most gory like violent for the time games that was out there I mean you shoot people and they just instantly turn into a red mist it's amazing not to mention uh... come on nope ah, you jerk they actually ah totally Biffing it right now, but uh, not to mention the uh, really, I am really stinking it up right now. Need to concentrate. Anyways, they had codes in that game to make it even more violent, and uh, so I mean it's a, it turned it into an NC-17 version. I believe this game came out before the uh, the the uh, ESRB was put into form, uh, form, or I was in the early, early stages of it. I can't really recall. Nevertheless, it'll be a fun uh, trip through memory lane, so to speak. And some of the other games on the uh, the bucket list are, uh, ah, are the Zelda titles. I haven't um, specifically beaten any of them outside of uh, the Minish Cap, which I actually really enjoyed. Ah, thank God I was pressing down right there. But uh, the Minish Cap for the Game Boy Color uh, was one of my favorite uh, games. But I have never played any any of the other ones, which is kind of surprising, honestly. All right, let's hope I can make this jump. Sweet. And I think I got Toe Jam and Oral. I mean, they're... Really? Wow. Come on, Mickey. Knock it off. And thanks. But the reason why there's going to be so many Super NES games on there is because I was... Oh, man, I'm getting trolled by these stupid clowns. But, uh... As I concentrate here... The reason why I ended up uh, picking so many SNES games was I was a Genesis kid, so I had a I had a Sega Genesis, had a uh, Sega CD. Yes, I had a Sega CD. Sonic CD was the only game that was worthwhile for that thing, but still, I had one. And uh, so I missed out on a lot of Super NES games. And I played them when I when I was older, and I had my own SNES, or I borrowed one from friends and whatnot, but. I never got around to beating a lot of those games, which is why there's a lot on that list. As I take a quick drink here. <clears throat> Alright. Oh sweet, I didn't realize my power was going to regen when I got into this new area. That's always good. Get out of there. I know you're there. I hit you half the time whenever I go through this level. I guess the max items I can have is 30. That's good to know. All right. Just working my way through here. There is a part to this level in particular which gets really obnoxious, and it's coming up. It should be right after this. It's where I have to, uh, darn it, let's try. I have to end up turning the screen uh, upside down uh, to kill enemies, and it gets really annoying. But for the time, I guess it was pretty immersive. Come here. <sighs> 
Come on, Mickey. Ah, making my way through this guy I hate because if you hit him or if you knock him off the uh, the unicycle he ends up uh, his unicycle end up chasing you so if you're not careful you can get hit really easily come on spring work with me there we go oh, I shouldn't have picked that up yet oh well no, 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 uh, that's okay. I don't need those marbles. Because I can get those. And, what, what? Did I really just fall down? You know, like the four or five times I played this recently, I haven't missed that jump once. And, the, of course, that would be a first for everything. All right. Since Mickey doesn't really run in this game for crap. This game desperately needs to have some sort of running mechanic. Especially in the third level and you'll see. Okay, here comes the part I was just alluding to. Let's see. Roop. Just like that. Okay. See? Oh, you... Oh, <laughs> I did not realize it was going to bounce off the wall like that. Go away. Alright. And there's certain things you can do. You can get up to certain levels or certain areas in this particular room if you time it just right. But I just use it to kill all the enemies on the screen, especially these guys. Boop. Go away. Come on! Ah, oh, gosh, such a waste. Come on, toy soldiers. I wonder how many points I get for killing these guys. Oh, 200 it looks like. You know, I could have used that, but it's alright. I'd rather not take the hit right now. And goodbye. Luckily all I have to do is keep going to the right. You know what? Get out of here. I'm not going to even bother with... Really? They... I like how I moved half a centimeter to the left and they respawned. Stupid clowns. Nobody likes clowns anyways. Mm, yeah, I'll go down and get them. You can never have too many items in this game, especially for some of the later levels. You don't even end up using them, you just end up wasting them. Well, oh, yeah, I can get that power. Sweet. Alright, full power for the boss. And... I alluded to this in my other videos, but this this stupid boss was the reason why I'd never beat this game as a kid, just because it would kick my ass, because I, I don't know why, because after figuring out the pattern the other, from the other day, it's relatively easy, because he's going to jump one more time, and then he's going to, oh, changing it up, but it's essentially two time, two or three times, and then you got to just duck underneath his uh, boxing glove. Jump, jump, and... See, mixing it up, but we're ready for it. I've played it enough, so. He's turning red. Alright, come on. You know, one game I was thinking about playing and seeing if. Oh, that's okay, one hit. We're good. Anyways, one game I was thinking about playing and see if I could even beat was uh, Punch Out. Uh, starring Mike Tyson or Super Punch Out, but uh, I don't even know. So we'll we'll see. It'll be interesting. But that was the orange gem, and so is level two completed. 
And I got a secret bonus, apparently. I don't know what secret I hit, but all right. And my high score is pretty good. Looking good right now.